Hey, Omni Dogs and Omni Kittens. It's Omni Dog here with Omni Dogs Vault and Root Beer Reviews, continuing my best of 2017 series. This show continues to be sponsored by Boylan Root Beer. Continues to be sponsored until I run out of Boylan. Um, so let's take a sip and delight in the wonderful foaminess. Mmm. Made with cane sugar. You can tell the difference between cane sugar and high fructose corn syrup. This is awesome. So, today, for the best of 2017, I've got independent books, which include uh, Image, Dark Horse, things like that. I've already gone over a couple of independent books uh, earlier from Boom Studios. So I won't be including those uh, in this because I already devoted a whole show to them. But a couple of caveats to keep in mind, I can't read everything. So it's easily possible that I miss some really good books. Uh, so something you like may not be on here and it's not that I didn't like it, it's probably that I didn't get to it. So this is just the best of what Omnidog read. Yes, I'm referring to myself in the third person and I'll try never to do it again. Um, so what I'll do is I will just hold up the book because I got a lot of books and I don't want the, this to be a, anything more than a 10 to 15 minute video. Uh, I'll hold up the book, show you some art, and I'll read the description from the back. Um, these are the books that I read that I loved in 2017. The other caveat is these, uh, I'm a trade waiter, so I wait till books come out in collected edition. So these comics could have been released in 2015, 2016 but I read them in 2017 because the, the trades got released in 2017. So first up is Monstrous. This actually, the first trade paperback probably was issued last year in 2016. Um, I don't know, it doesn't say, but the second one was issued this year, 2017. Let's see, blah, 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 2016. Yeah, late 2016, but the second volume was released in 2017. So that's what counts. So, Monstrous. Let's show you some of this brilliant artwork. I believe it's by Marjorie Liu and art by Sana Takeda. Um, it's wonderful. Set in an alternate... <laughs> I'm off to a bad start. Set in an alternate world of art deco beauty and steampunk horror, Monstrous tells the epic story of Micah Halfwolf a teenage survivor of a cataclysmic war between humans and their hated enemies, the Arcanics. In the face of oppression and terrible danger, Micah is both hunter and hunted, searching for answers about her mysterious past, as those who seek to use her remain just one step behind. And all the while, the monster within begins to awaken. Yes, this book is a great sci-fi alternate uh, history alternate world. I love Art Deco and I love steampunk. The artwork has a little bit of, uh, sometimes in places it's got a little bit of manga feel to it, but this is a great book and I highly recommend it. All these books, of course, I highly recommend because they're my best of 2017. Um, this is Monstrous Book 1 and what came out in 2017, what qualifies it, is Monstrous Trade Paperback 2. This is from Image. And let's take a look at some of this artwork. Micah Halfwolf is on the run from a coalition of forces determined to control or destroy the powerful monstrum that lives beneath her skin. But Micah still has a mission of her own to discover the secrets of her late mother, Moriko. Micah's quest takes her to the pirate-controlled city of Theria and across the sea to the mysterious Isle of Bones. That was a great part of this book. It is a journey that will force Micah to reevaluate her past, present, and future, and contemplate whether there's anyone or anything she can truly trust, including her own body. Yeah, there's a monster that lives within her, and this book is really, really well done. Uh, I highly recommend you pick this book up. It is two volumes so far, and I believe another volume will be coming out shortly. It is a continuing series. The next book is also from Image, and was started, I believe, last year. 
and it's Paper Girls. Let's see how I can get it without glare on it so you can actually see it. This bright pink cover. Now it doesn't have a description on the back, so I can't. It's nice hard cover. It contains the first ten issues. Beautiful. It's by Brian K. Vaughn. Beautifully drawn by Cliff Chang. Uh, all I can really describe it as four girls on a paper route who have met mysterious strangers. This is set, I think, back in the eighties. It's um, they meet mysterious strangers and their worlds turned upside down as they try and solve the mystery. Um, great book, great art. This is a high quality hardcover that I really like. Image does a great job with these. And this is an excellent read. Paper Girls uh, by the fabulous Brian K. Vaughn. I dug this book a lot and I think you will too. Next up on Best of 2017, uh, this qualifies because I think Volumes 3 and 4 came out uh, in 2017. Hang on. Boylan. Um, but then um, it got released uh, in, a, in a hardcover that's really nice, and it is the fabulous Joe Benitez's Lady Mechanica. And this is as steampunky as it gets. This book has got fabulous art with a strong female protagonist that I love. And it is, let's see, the back says, The tabloids dubbed her Lady Mechanica, the sole survivor of a mad scientist's horrific experiments which left her with mechanical limbs. Having no memory of her captivity or her former life, Lady Mechanica eventually built a new life for herself and is an adventurer and private investigator using her unique abilities to solve cases the proper authorities couldn't or wouldn't handle. But she never stopped searching for the answers to her own past. And it's set in Victorian England. The art is great. The writing is great. Of course, this art is really, really great. And this is by uh, self-published by Joe Benitez. Um, you can get it you know, at your local comic shop, through IST, however you want to do it. If you're overseas, you can get it, I'm, I'm sure, through the, the usual outlets. Um, but it's by Joe Benitez Productions. Benitez Productions. So that you can't get any more independent than a self-published book. Uh, I love Lady Mechanica, and I highly recommend it. Uh, get the hardcover or get the four or five trade paperbacks that came out. Um, I think there's five of them now. I'm not sure about that, but get them all. They're great. This was right up my alley as something that I dug. And now a, the next book is also from Image Comics. And I really dug this book a lot. Postal. Uh, I will show you some of the artwork. The art's great, but the story's even greater. Um, this is volume five, I think. Yeah, there's five thin volumes, um, and it is wonderful. And the story is Eden, Wyoming. It's an American town that officially doesn't exist. Unofficially, it's a self-contained community of fugitives living off the grid outside of the law by their own rules. Now the forces of change are shifting inside and around Eden. A renegade FBI agent has made it a personal quest to unlock the secrets of the town despite the FBI conspiracy that protects it. Molly, a sociopath imprisoned within the town, has taken a guiding interest in Mark Schifrin, son of Eden's mayor, Laura Schifrin. Molly wants Mark to take the town from his mother, and Mark might want Molly enough to do it. And Mark is a bit of, um, um, kind of like Sheldon from Big Bang Theory. He's a bit odd but he's a meticulous, he's a postal worker, which is where you get the name from. Um, and he is out to investigate a murder that has happened in the town. And there's all kinds of things that happen um, in Eden. And he's at the center of it. He's falling in love and he barely even knows how to function in normal society. But this book, um, I loved this book. And which explains why it's on my best of 2017. 
Uh, as the pressure increases around Eden and its existence comes under threat, Mark will have to finally decide what kind of man he wants to be. And when he does, he'll also decide Eden's fate. Great book. Five thin paperbacks from Image. Best of 2017 because several trades, I think three of them came out this year. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it started last year, maybe the year before. It's um, part of a trilogy, I found out, in Eden. Um, I believe there's also, I don't know if it takes place in Eden, but there's also a book called Tithe that goes with it and Think Tank that all take place in the same kind of universe. I haven't read those yet, but they're supposed to be great. Uh, they're by the same author, who is Matt Hawkins. And um, I can't say enough about this book, but I've already said too much because I don't want to keep you guys too long because I got some more books to talk about. The next book was published as a thick graphic novel, Roughneck, by Jeff Lemire, unless it's pronounced Lemire. Um, it is a great book. I did a review of it earlier in the year, and it's a, um, a mystery with family, um, a lot of family um, dysfunction in it. A very interesting story. It's told um, in a very well-paced manner, and it is t as typical of a lot of uh, Lemire's work. It is set in Canada, it involves hockey, it involves a lot of snow. Um, uh, it is a great, great book, and it is, um, as of right now, let's see, who is this put out by? This was put out by Gallery 13 Comics. It's a big hardcover book, $30, but I'm sure you can find it cheaper. If you're a fan of Jeff Lemire's work, even if you're not a fan of Jeff Lemire's work, this book really does a great job telling a story, making you care about the characters, and by the end of the book, you definitely get some feels going on in you because this book does such a great job of making you care. Next up is a little bit of a um, kind of an undiscovered gem. I don't think it got the, the attention that it deserves. I'd like to see a lot more of them. It's a one and done uh, book. I'd like to see a heck of a lot more because uh, it involves uh, the West, the Old West, and magic. And that sounds great to me. This is Kingsway West. This book was put out by Dark Horse, by Greg Pack, and art by Mirko Kolak. And it's got dragons, it's got all kinds of great things in it. Uh, and the description is, after spending 13 years in a war that made him a monster, a Chinese gunslinger named Kingsway Law just wants to live in peace with his wife, Sonia. But even in a fantastical Old West, crackling with magic, a man of his skills can never quite disappear. So when a woman with a red gold sword, that's important, red gold, brings bloody chaos to his doorstep, Kingsway must fight for his life, his wife, and his very soul. The art is really cool in this book. The colors are really cool. It's got magic. It's got a uh, high degree of really interesting science, technology kind of stuff. And it's set in the Old West. And I can't say enough about this book. I It's definitely in my top books of 2017. It's a, it's a one and done, 15 bucks. You need to go out and get this book. I would love to see more adventures of uh, Kingsway Law because this book grabbed me by the shirt collar and... Never let go. So I highly recommend this book. Next, a lot of people love this book, and rightly so. It's hard to describe. <laughs> it's a crack up, though. I Hate Fairyland by Scotty Young, who's a great artist, and it turns out a really great writer, because I Hate Fairyland's a crack up. Um, I Hate Fairyland. Let's see. Gert, her name is, still stuck in Fairyland and trying to get the fluff back home, but her quest hits a bit of a... This is volume two. Came out in... So far, I think there's three volumes. 
and it's coming out in hardcover here soon. I'm doing this at the end of November of 2017. So it's coming out um, with a hardcover collection and that'll be great. I will definitely upgrade because look at this artwork. The story, I mean, look at that bug. How can you not love uh, like a hungover cigar smoking bug who gets punched in the face right there? Uh, Scotty Young, great artist. Look at these colors. It is so fun. Um, and that's what we want, right? In comics, we want stuff that's fun. Fun. Positive attitude. Let's have some fun here. The world's tough enough. We like us to escape into fun stuff. And this book is a crack up. Um, she's this wise cracking smart ass girl is stuck in fairyland and wants to get out. She ends up the queen of fairyland. So it's going to be even harder for her to bust out. But look at these colors, look at this fun. It is just an A-plus book, and I think you guys would really like it. Uh, you guys probably already have read it. It's pretty popular, and rightly so. So I Hate Fairyland, that is by Image. The next book, there's four of them, and I was late to the party on this one because I bought them all, and then, ding, a hardcover got announced. So I don't know if I'm gonna upgrade or not, but I just got done reading this book, all four books, Descender, by that Jeff Lemire, Lemire guy, with art by the fabulous Dustin Nguyen, and um, Descender is great. I really enjoyed all four books. Uh, I'm, I, there's a fifth one coming out in January of 2018. I'll definitely be getting that. Be, it's an ongoing, but book five may be the end. I'm not sure. Um, but let's take a look at this book and describe it to you. Whoops, this is book four, so let's start with book one so you don't get confisibibled. It's about artificial intelligence and robots. Ten years after planet-sized robots called Harvesters appeared and wrecked havoc across the galaxy, a young android named Tim21 wakes to find that all robots have been outlawed. But Tim may hold the secrets to the Harvesters in his machine DNA, and he quickly becomes the most wanted robot in the universe. With bounty hunters and threats lurking at every turn, Tim embarks on a mind-blowing adventure through the stars along with his robot dog Bandit and the lumbering mining droid Driller. Um, this book, not only is it a great book that is, uh, builds the world, it builds the universe. It's got planets in this book that all have a purpose, all have an interesting indigenous life, and are all involved in this book. These harvesters just appeared out of nowhere. Think Galactus from Marvel Comics. You'll get an idea of how big they are. They destroy tons of human life. Um, this painted art is beautiful, and you start to care, despite your best uh, intentions, you start to care about robots. And the humans that are in it, you care about them too. Um, I This book already has a lot of fans, and rightly so. Um, it's four volumes, and a fifth coming out, and a hardcover coming out, as I said. I think you guys would really love Descender, because it's a story that... Uh, hasn't been told before, and as I said, it's not just world building, it's galaxy building. And Lemire does a great job in this book of building the worlds, and the artwork is fantastic. So definitely, definitely pick up Descender however you can. Floppies, hardcover, trade paperbacks, I don't know if I'm going to upgrade or not. Excuse me, but we will see. Now, the next book is a bit of an enigma because it is Black Monday Murders by Jonathan Hickman. And this is Hickman at his Hickmaniest. His Hickmaniest. Um, it, it deals with financial conspiracy. And I've talked to some people that didn't like it. They couldn't get into it. Um, I know a lot about the finance industry. I know a lot about stocks and bonds and uh, Wall Street. That's just, that's my real gig. Um, but, so I understood it, and I got it, and I got into it. And this is a great, well-told book. 
if you don't have a financial background, I'm not sure you can enjoy it that much. So you may want to check it out on Comixology first. Maybe download the first copy. See if you can get into it before uh, you go ahead and buy it. Because I, I can see how somebody that doesn't have a keen understanding of finances may not dig this book. It's not for everyone, but it was for me because it deals with conspiracy and finances and trying to get to the bottom of uh, what's going on uh, in, in the financial world and how it controls all our lives. Uh, so Black Monday Murders, I recommend it, but with an asterisk that you may want to check it out digitally first before you go ahead and buy the uh, paperback. And I'm sure it's going to get a hardcover collection eventually. And the last book, that, let's see, Black Monday Murders by Image. The last book is from Dark Horse. This is an older book, but it just got put out in omnibus form this year, so it counts. Colder. Uh, Declan Thomas, an ex-inmate of an insane asylum that was destroyed in a fire, has the strange ability to step inside a person's madness and sometimes cure it. He hopes to one day cure his own, but time is running out as a demonic predator pursues him. This was a wonderful read. Uh, I, I read it in October. I read it in floppies, and then I reread it in October as my scary book. I like to read scary books and watch scary movies in October. And this book is great. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, it's two uh, story arcs in it. And it's a kind of a psychological horror story. You don't need to be uh, any kind of specialist in anything to enjoy this book. You just have to like good comic books to enjoy this book. Um, it's got really nice art, interesting paneling, and uh, bad guys that are really bad guys. And it keeps you guessing because a lot of times you don't know what's reality and what's not reality. Uh, you, that is to say, you don't know what reality is uh, because he lives in a world of madness and is trying to, he fixes other people, but has a hard time fixing himself. Um, he also falls in love and she tries to help him. Just a great book. And of course, everybody loves this cover, which is, I mean, study that thing. <laughs> so... That's my best of 2017 independent books. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, feel free to subscribe, hit the like button, drink boiling root beer, and uh, leave a comment or two. I'm happy to answer all comments. That's right. I do that. I'm one of the few guys that answers comments on YouTube. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in a few minutes when I do some other best ofs. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching.